ChatGPT just recently released their agent, and it's been crazy already. I mean, all the things that are coming out, obviously, it's uh, just a lot of excitement and a lot of unknowns on where things are going. You have Grok4, you have Anthropic cooking up a lot of things, I'm sure. But ChatGPT just definitely got real big here. I've been playing around with ChatGPT and you know, there's a lot of great use cases here when it comes to, you know, booking like your vacation, uh, book an Airbnb, you know, generate a photo. These are all really cool and fluffy stuff, you know what I mean, to, uh, to definitely save you time. Another cool thing is that, you know, it could generate, um, you know, like, reports and do a lot of research. Uh, the cool thing too, this kind of combines deep research uh, also uh, with their operator. Operator was really kind of quirky and not uh, the best uh, when it comes to actually executing the job reliably and it was super slow. And then deep research has been huge because deep research will do a ton of uh, research, right? And then come up with a massive report. So some things that I've been doing uh, for us internally at Top of Funnel, as well as for our clients, is running it through their API, which I will drop a new video uh, here soon because we've definitely been playing with that. It's been a lot of fun as well, uh, just to see how much research we can get away with because some companies we work with, it's not even about volume, it's actually about just tons of research around uh, knowing everything about their ICP, right? But specific to agents, this is uh, this is big because it it goes fast. It also does API calls and it runs terminal. And when you can do that, you can do a whole lot of things. And I want to demonstrate here some of the things that I did just so you can kind of open up your minds on how you can actually earn money for it and also uh, execute it in your business. You know, and know the limitations, or actually just stretch the limitations, if you will. Uh, for some things that I found that may not have been announced, actually it hasn't been announced, but uh, I don't know if you're seeing it anywhere else on YouTube. So, uh, so here we go. Um, yeah, I mean, pretty straight up. You just go to the website, OpenAI. Right now, I think it's only available for pro users and uh, plus users, uh, but I'm sure it's going to be rolling out to the masses uh, pretty quickly. And uh, you'll just know that when you go to ChatGPT you will uh, see that there and if you go to tools you will see here and uh, clearly i've been playing with it <clears throat> but as of now you get like 400 a month on the pro plan and then um, i'm not sure how you get on the plus it's always changing though but one key thing that you're going to want to do is and i always talk about this but uh, i liked my dad said rto and I, i've kind of rolled with that especially with webinars and um, live events that we do uh, is really role, task, and output. So when you are prompting an AI, you know you can basically say one line and see what it gets. You know, see what it gets you. But the more you can refine your prompt, and the more you can really hone down specific use cases and outputs that you're looking for, especially with some of the tools that I talk about, uh, such as Clay and N8M. Uh, you'll definitely want to send the agent off knowing exactly what you're looking for. And sometimes you just got to vibe your way through, right? Um, but that's, uh, I digress. Uh, one thing I did though is just to experiment, I just on a whim just said, I'm just trying to do some research for cold email outbound where we do AI and automation services for businesses to improve efficiency across all departments, but mostly in sales and marketing. And I run a company called Top of Funnel. And what I want you to do is to formulate research around what we do, as well as what you believe our strongest ICP is. And what I want you to do primarily is look at what is a prime market for any vertical to be able to understand how we can help B2B companies that are in a state where cold email needs to make sense for them and leverage tools like Clay instantly and any then. And you can see, I won't read the rest of it, but what my uh, intent here was to go from nothing, basically let it do its research. I just wanted to see what it would come up with and uh, you know, basically go from there. And you'll notice here that it starts, and then the cool thing too is it actually launches a browser and it will reason with what it's seeing. So it's going through, it's uh, doing a search, you know, and it's also saying, go to market with clay. It talks about instantly. It was going through here and it's, it's doing research. It researched N8N. 
Uh, let's see. Okay, and it, it went through. And then it came uh, came up with a, a report, right? So we have research on everything here as of 18 July. My daughter's birthday today. Uh, about to go out to a good old dinner, right? And uh, yeah, this is actually pretty good. It came up with some good. It comes up with citations and everything. It also comes up with B2B cold email effectiveness. At the same time, we also I also launched multiple other sessions and I just ran the same type of prompt uh, for the clients we serve. And so even for your business or even clients that you serve, maybe if you're an agency, it might be worth just actually just seeing what it comes up with because some of your clients may not even know or even your business, like what is out there, right? And you might be surprised <clears throat> based on actual good research from the AI uh, what it can come up with. Uh, with that, so we're scrolling here, ICP, okay, cool. Prime verticals and recommendations, cool. General insights, all right, struggling with AI and automation, all right. I mean, all this stuff is pretty darn good. And then what I did was, uh, okay, yep, uh, get a list of companies uh, and a spreadsheet of which uh, can be large as possible. I wanted to get a spreadsheet, hit me, right? Um, I mean, Clay can handle quite a bit of data. And I want you to formulate a spreadsheet with potential companies with the list of company name as well as the company URL for me to start with. I want you to look at these verticals and come up with go-to-market strategy with a list of companies that I could potentially reach out to. So I want three columns, which is a company name. I'm going to want the company URL. And then I want, to, I want the reason you believe that they would be a good fit for reaching out to them. Because I, I want the AI to provide context and pretty much said that, right? And I used uh, Siri speech to text or even uh, other voice you know, uh, applications that uh, open source that I built. And so I'm usually speaking to voice, so that's why you see it like that. And you can see that it went to work and we can see, okay, I'm reviewing an article and it went through here, top 20, and then it went through here, scrolling through, reading mode, cool. All good stuff, no different. All right, 10 speed, not sure what that is. Okay, went to different website. And then 12 content marketing agencies, okay. And then you can see it actually used Pandas, uh, which is a data, uh, it's a Python library uh, to be able to work with data. And it formulated a right to a CSV. And then cool, so it did that. And then, but it only came up with 26. So I'm like, you gotta do better than that, right? Like, come on. And I said, ultimately, I really would like a larger list of this. And ideally, it should have at least a list of companies in the United States. And then um, 1,000 emails per day. And if you can come up with 20,000, cool. That's a good start. I've expanded the list to 41. I'm like, really? All right. Let me just give it to you again. I would really like you to generate 20,000 individually research contacts. This is where you start to push through the friction, right? I understand your desire for a very large list, but generating 20,000 individually researched companies with accurate names. So I was trying to, they, I said, nah, I'm not gonna do that. And then of course it directs me to a good old Apollo, Zuminfo, Crunchbase, you know, that kind of thing. And uh, how much would you be willing to provide? So literally I'm negotiating and arguing with AI. So uh, here we are with that. And then um, would you like me to proceed with 100 to 200? So now it's actually meet me in the middle and it says continue. This was actually an auto response. I was actually at my daughter's softball game when this was going. So that's cool. And um, here we are. I prepared a company or a combined spreadsheet of 163. So that's a little bit better, right? And then uh, it comes up with the CSV. And then what it did though is it gave me like Microsoft, it gave me, what else was there? So this is all the list here. Um, so this um, this is the combined one. It gave me, a, I mean, this is actually a really good spreadsheet. I mean, look at it, it's it's legit. I mean, they grayed out column or column A. And uh, this, is a, this is a good list, right? This is, this is a, a list that I kind of revised here, uh, but I said, here are five, you know, I went for smaller ones, not like, you know, I'm not going to reach out to Microsoft or uh, things like that. But nonetheless, it came up with some decent companies here, which you can see are all these in my CSV file. I was just trying to go quickly here. It says no. Okay. 
yes, this is what I want. And then uh, it started listing out more, and it actually lists out Finding Mail. <laughs> so uh, I'm like, cool, all right, small crew, small world. And um, we're going through, we're going through, and then, okay, uh, you know, I basically went through that. Uh, below is an expanded of 12 similar midsize. Okay, and then it gave me more. And then I realized because I stepped away and came back, it actually wasn't on agent anymore. So I was actually chatting with just good old chat GPT. And then I switched it over to agent to actually kick off the session once again, because you could see it didn't actually do a, a bunch of work. And uh, where was it here? Okay, then I switched it right here. And it went to work as the agent. I'll compile a list, cool. 36 growing B2B SaaS startups. And then it went there. All right. And then again, it ran a terminal which can generate a CSV. And therefore, you get the deliverable right here. And with, with that said, this is where you can upload it into Clay. So I'll upload it into Clay. And we are in this one right here. I simply upload it. So if you're not familiar with Clay, it is a definitely powerhouse when it comes to data. I like to call it the Photoshop of data because you can literally mold data however you want and uh, to do from a start of a company all the way out to an outreach, uh, cold email, LinkedIn, you know, anything that you want to do. So it's definitely a great platform you should check out. Link is in the description below if you uh, want a free trial with some uh, some good credits. Anyhow. You can see here that eat very easily with, with the agent. I just said, hey, find me all these companies. It did the research. It came up with the CSV. That's legit, right? That is some good stuff. And then uh, one benefit here is I can go into Clay and I can just say, find people at these companies. And then I you define the criteria there. In this case, I did, you could do uh, founders, you know, you could do CTOs, you could do, you know, decision makers or whoever you want to reach out to. And uh, obviously it came up with 7,700. So this is a very, very like quick just demo of what the capabilities are of using ChatGPT to actually formulate research, come up with a list like a CSV, and then uh, send that to, you know, a CSV and then upload it into Clay. So then I thought it could also do API calls. I'm like, what if I just said, send it straight to a webhook, right? So I went ahead and created a webhook table and I was fighting through it last night, you know, saying, send this to a webhook URL and anything you find, because I could literally go on my phone and be like, hey, you know, do this, do that research, and then send it to this webhook, because then it will catch it, right, through this request right here. And then I could have the workflow just take over and then shoot, the rest is history, you know, just. Add it to a campaign and you're good to go. Um, and then I found out that you can't actually, right now ChatGPT has it limited on API requests and you can only do get requests at the moment. That's as of uh, July 18, 2025, it specifically said get requests are only authorized. I'm like, okay, you can't do a post request, which means I'm sending data somewhere. I can't do a post request, but I could do a get request. All right, let me hop over to N8N. So I went to N8N and I said, okay, let's do a get request and instead also carry the payload here of, you know, sending me some data. Uh, so then what I did was I, I straight up said, you know, prompt strict founder lookup and webhook dispatch. So I put this into O3 actually and said, blah, 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 this is what I want to do. Come up with a really good system prompt with proper markdown and XML if you, this one doesn't have XML. Um, but anyway, it comes up with a good prompt. I want it to do it exactly this, you know, send it to the webhook uh, URL. And by the way, this webhook URL is not gonna work by the time you're watching this video, so good luck. Anyhow, um, it's saying understood, cool. So I was just testing out on myself and you can see here it opens up a new browser and then we're saying okay top of funnel cool went to LinkedIn and it was doing research it went to my website uh, okay and it's pulling up where I'm listed here good stuff I mean that's that's it 
And then, uh, all right, that's bad. 502 gateway. Nobody likes that. Okay, cool. And then it goes there. It gets all my stuff. But it even so much as went to my LinkedIn profile. Uh, I went to Top of Funnels profile. And then clearly, it's all right here, right? And then it's doing a human in the loop saying, please confirm if you'd like me to proceed with the Git request to sending the URL. And then here we are. It, it did it and it brought up my NA10 tunnel here uh, to send it, the webhook URL. And then it says sent, right? And then you can see right here the experimentation. I actually got ChatGPT agent to send a webhook to an NA10 workflow through a GET request. Uh, it's a bit quirky because it's only sending the company name. I said, you know what, instead of JSON, just send the damn thing, just send everything, because then you can parse it appropriately with a code node or AI uh, and you know, and structure it appropriately, but I just want all the data, just send it, right? And I think that's where we're at, I was like, all right, I pushed it to its limit now, um, you know, maybe we'll just stick to the old CSV upload, just like what a lot of people, you know, are used to, because clearly I could take this workflow and probably will and just run with it, just for experimental reasons and be like, hey, I uh, used an agent to find you. Uh, do you want me to do it for your business? <laughs> so, um, but you can see the potential here of where it's going. I mean, to have an agent send it to a webhook and then you could take this and then do another agent, you know, like I talk about in my channel. Uh, you can literally do anything in NA10 and you can even send this through a clay workflow. I mean, the data is just data. And so you just, so as you have the data, you could do everything is around triggers and actions. And if you just map it out like we do, then you have a whole lot. But my point is, is the starting point is natural language. I could literally be on my phone, use agent mode, do all those things. And it will do a front end browser with a GUI, a GUI browser. It will do reasoning research. And then from there, uh, it will send API requests. It will formulate CSVs. There's a whole ton of things that you could do. So anyway, that summarizes uh, ChatGPT agent, in my opinion, for how you could actually use it to generate income for your business other than, you know, booking vacations and all that jazz. But uh, appreciate you watching up to this point and uh, I'll see you in the next video.